what we just did was basically run the migration from the old pocket based data directly to the new pocket based data so all of the collections will have been recreated so we should see it hopefully boot up so let's jump into it by running pocket based serve and then going into our collection and sure enough this looks like the new version of pocket base hey guys today we're going to be looking at how to upgrade from pocket base version 22 to version 23 this is probably the biggest change i covered a lot of what was done in uh, another video which is what pocket base uh, 0.23 means for other developers but today we're going to go through how to actually do that upgrade because it's a little bit complex it's not too complicated but it is a little complex and so we're going to cover the complexities here so for starters the first place to go to is pocketbase.io that is where i am now and we're going to take a look at some of the different changes that have gone on here so uh first thing to note is that we're going to need to upgrade our sdks uh to greater than 0.22 in order to be able to use the the 0.23 version so on your individual apps you'll need to upgrade that and the second thing to note is that uh, it is recommended to save your data um, before you do the upgrade it's basically going to involve copying your pb data and renaming it we're going to get into all of that goodness in a moment there's going to be uh, some copies of the the data being made so we're going to have to do a migration in order to actually make the changes work because um, i think this is something more like a uh, a full-fledged version of, of of sql rather than um the custom implementation and that's why a lot of these changes have been made there's also um some changes to the way that different uh variables are processed within the bindings of of any of the hooks that are being used so if you've got custom implementations you need to run to this page and take a, a look at all of the different methods and upgrade them manually again i'm going to show you how to do that step by step but for those of you who have programmed uh in go or in javascript the dao uh, methods are no longer available so those are just direct methods now on the uh, dollar app variable so I, for basically all of my stuff that I have to go through and update that but I'm just going to show you I would say this is probably going to be the biggest change for a lot of people is um, if you were previously using a um, colon and then a parameter name that's now changed to uh, parentheses uh, that's due to the MUX um, router rather than um, the old router that it was using and you're going to have to change the way that you write your uh, body for your hooks. Also looking at the event hooks. All, all of these changes have been recorded um, for you to go through by yourself. But I'm going to show you a little hack that I did when I was upgrading Lemon Squeezy. The little hack, if you guys haven't guessed, is using AI, um, particularly cursor. But we're going to um, run through it. But first thing we're going to do is grab the old version of pocket base here, which is just the 0 0.22.23. As of the making of this video, I'm going to get the one for my I'm going to go to lemon squeezy. And I'll be just setting this up locally um, rather than having a hosted version. Um, if you want to download lemon squeezy, wow, this is an integration that I've made to uh, make SaaS payments easier. It's something that ties directly into fastpocket.dev. Uh, if you are interested in creating SaaS very quickly, this is going to be the way to do it. it takes 10 minutes to basically set up a fully fledged SaaS payment. But anyways, we're going to copy this file um, and we'll jump on and take a look. Now that we've downloaded Pocket Base for the new version and the old version, we're going to get started by booting up pocket base so we'll just change into the pocket base um, the old pocket base directory and we'll just get started by setting it up using pocket base serve um, follow this link 
get set up with our old typical account. And because we're using Lemon Squeezy, we're going to need to uh, set up some some collections to begin with. Um, so we've already got our pocket based data created, but we're going to create a PB hooks directory. And create a new file. It's going to be main.pb.js. And we're going to put in our um, put in all of our content there. And good. You'll notice that we've got this dot dal there, which is um, obviously not what we want. Uh, we've got a lot of um, the existing hooks in use for uh, the JavaScript extend, so we're going to need to perform a lot of updates in order to make this work. But that's no problem. Um, you know what, we've got this in here. We'll just run a, a quick refresh for it by restarting the, the pocket base. Um, we'll just import our collection now. We'll just go and download this one directly. I think we need to change the folder here. load it again there we go okay cool so yeah we want to merge uh, we don't want to merge actually we'll go review confirm an import yes right. and you can see we've got all of the subscriptions and things like that that we we have here so we'll close out of this um, and now I think we're ready for looking at how to actually perform this upgrade. So let's start from the top. Like I said, there's a lot of crap here. So we're going to have to, um, yeah, going to have to fire up that AI in order to do this. So the first thing we want to look at is have we got data? It looks like we do. Then we need to copy that data. And we're going to just rename this to pbdata.old. Uh, and yeah, so pb comes with many changes. Uh, it requires applying a manual step for pb hooks and pb underscore migrations. So the migration path is pretty straightforward. Unless you're playing around with custom migrations, then yeah, sorry guys, you're on your own. Um, that you, you if you're playing around with custom uh, migrations and things like that you should already have an understanding of SQL Lite um, and yeah it's one of those things where if you're good enough to get yourself into that one you should be good enough to get yourself out um, most I've never ever used um, uh, custom migrations so uh, there is like a, a tool uh, a code mod you can sort of run in order to um, do the migration easily um, so we'll just run through that. Um, we got to go to our, we've got to run this command here. Um, and you'll notice that it says, uh, files are all auto generated. If your existing PB migrations file are all auto generated, you might find it easier to upgrade by deleting all of them. Um, uh, and run with the pocket base 0 0.23.0 executable. Uh, pocket based migrate collections, which will create a full snapshot of your latest correction, collection configuration, and then after you can run migrate history sync. So that's what we're going to do. Um, keep in mind, I'm not showing you how to upgrade the SDKs because that's fairly straightforward. You just use npm, and it's not even out yet on the latest. So um, this is just for when, when it when the change does happen, 
Uh, you guys know exactly what to do. It's just npm i pocket base at latest. Um, so we'll just run this command here. You can see that's successfully created before and um, the migrations table was synced there. So everything's run well. Now we've got to apply the um, code changes to our hooks file. So jumping into it, um, I'm going to be using cursor here. Um, cursor's free. Um, all you need is an open API key, um, or you can use a Google key in order to do it. And then you want to do this um, entry point in order to create this. Um, now, some some old people amongst you um, uh, might be thinking, oh, you know, you shouldn't use AI, you should know what you're coding. We're not just going to use AI and, and run, we're going to actually go through each of the endpoints and make sure that the changes have, has, have occurred um, uh, in comparison with the actual uh, website. So we're going to take a look as this runs through here, we're going to do a comparison of each line of code that's been changed to make sure it's the right line of code. Um, because yeah, this is going to be much easier than actually going through and doing it line by line. So let's do it. So we can see that DAO to find auth record by token. That's exactly as it should be. All the DAO methods have disappeared, which is what we want. Save, which was one of the methods um, that's been changed, has been saved. We've got e dot request info. We might have to check that one to make sure that's right. Um, read it to string. Let's take a look here. So request info. $APIs.requestInfo C has been replaced with E.requestInfo, which is correct. Um, now, read it to string. Uh, so that all looks right. Dollar app. Let's just look up this. Dot find by record ID. And by filter, uh, can't. S oh, look, there it is. It's just beneath. Um, just three down from there. Find records by filter. Mm. So that all looks right. Um, find records by filter. Find collection by name or ID. So we can just see that DAO's been removed there. <laughs> Info body dot variant. Um, e dot request dot info. Find by auth token record. Yep, so that's got rid of the DAO there. Um, Yeah, it's got rid of our method there, but I'll add that in later. It's just to do with my code, um, because it was commented out. That's the cron job for synchronizing uh, Lemon Squeezy with Pocket Base, but whatever. Um, <clears throat> so we, we've changed C to E, and we got rid of the DAO. We got the save record rather than DAO save record. Dollar app, find record by filter ID, blah, blah, blah. Save record, that's all right, that's all the same stuff. Find records by filter, we've already verified that that's the right change. Same with these save records. Great, so I think that is good to go. But, fortunately for everything to do with code, we've always got to test it. Um, so, Okay, so now what we're going to do, we're going to copy our PB hooks into the new world. 
and we're going to change to uh, the correct version of profit base, it's 23. And now what we need to do is just copy this PB underscore data and the PB underscore hooks, and we're gonna pop that into our new 0.23 profit base instance. And we're going to run these same commands again um, once we're in the right folder. So we'll go to 2.3, and we're going to run the uh, migrate collections here. So we'll just copy this. Yes, we want to migrate. And we're going to run this migrate history sync, which we'll copy here. And we'll run that. And now I think we are ready to test. So what we just did was basically run the migration from the old pocket-based data directly to the new pocket-based data. So all of the collections will have been recreated. Um, so we should see it hopefully boot up. So let's jump into it by running pocket-based serve and then going into our collection and Sure enough, this looks like the new version of Pocket Base. So we have nothing in here as it stands now. But that is okay. We've got all of our collections as we wanted it. Um, and if we had data, it would come across as well. So all of our rules have come across as we would expect. And we're definitely on the new version. So that's pretty much it. Uh, it's not really too complicated to uh, do this upgrade, but it does require a little bit of legwork. Cursor does a lot of the legwork for it. So I recommend that you guys use it for doing the upgrades uh, where you have a lot of text to cover. If this has been helpful for you, I recommend that you check out my newsletter. I cover a tool that is useful for developers, a, a tutorial, as well as the top news in AI and JavaScript. I think that I am going to be doing a lot more in Pocket Base, so stay tuned. Uh, tune into the newsletter because that's where I'm going to be really leasing everything. And I'll see you guys in the next one.